The food pantry is such a large and an important organization in Hillsboro. We're a very tiny town. I think there's a population of 5,500 people. Years ago, the, some of the churches used to keep food down in their cupboards in the kitchen. So when someone needed food, there was a little food there. A lot of people, especially in this economy, are in such need. And they've gone from giving out 80 families aid to they're up over 125. There was a ramshackle building here. I've been involved with the food pantry for probably 20 or 25 years and uh, the building here was definitely in poor repair. It was a hundred year old house and uh, it just had sat empty for a long time. And there was a river that ran underneath it. The walls were coming down around us. There's nothing to renovate. We should really tear it down. I was involved in the fundraising from the beginning and Carl had, Carl Goodman had come into the chamber with a plan and he said, well, I think we can get these large businesses to donate a lot of money and we'll have the funds raised in no time. It didn't work out that way. We raised money nickel and dime, uh, bake sales, um, cans on the store shell, you know, on the store uh, counters to uh, contribute change to. The outhouses were donated. Uh, the dumpsters were sent to us at a reduced rate. I think we're at $135,000 and in nickels and dimes, basically. I saw a number of people, and especially Carl and Jim, who have literally donated hundreds of hours to this project. And it's not a nine to five type of job. A little nerve wracking when you're trying to run a business and build a building, but uh, hey, it happened. And after this, I think I could build anything. Well, I was here watching them tear it down. And then foundation, just checking on things. The architect who did it, I was checking on, make sure he was satisfied for what we were doing. Uh, the framing of it, I didn't get involved in too much, but then I sided this building, as we see now, and uh, a lot of the aspects of the construction of it. They would be here weekends. They gave up Saturdays and Sundays. They would bring their families and get them to work during the weekends and evenings. It was quite enjoyable working with all different people. To me, it's just a, it's a way of life, you know? I just, I just, love to give back. We really couldn't have done it without them. Uh, it's impacted the community and the fact that we've noticed a much larger uh, support basis for the food pantry. Besides being a food pantry, um, we have a clothing closet upstairs. Lots of people shop in there that don't even get food. You know, people are starting to think about other things in town and it's good. I think in the long run they could drive by this for years and be proud that they participated in it, as I am. I think it says to people who have to come in here, we care about you. I think not only are they giving out food, I think they're giving out hope and help. And I think that's what small towns are all about, neighbors helping neighbors. For me, the definition of a hero is someone who is has gone above and beyond the normal daily life routine. And Carl and Jim have absolutely gone way above and beyond what, what is expected of people.